The video I'm about to show you is bad, right? Stop Z here and Hold Blood TV. And we're gonna do a video. That video was produced 13 years ago. And it was probably one of the first things that I created on some really bad editing software back in the day. Now, what I'd like you to think about is everybody has a start to their career, start to you what they do and how they create. And that was my start. At least it was the first time I did something for myself. Now, the video was fundamentally bad, yes. Connor. But looking back on it now, I see the origins of my creativity and how I created the years back in the day. And I think that's one of the most invaluable lessons that I can have. I mean, nostalgia is an incredibly powerful tool in your arsenal because it allows you to go back at where you have been and realize that those were the steps in a journey that is ultimately going to be much more fulfilling. Now, you're here to see how to get better at video. The number one rule of that is just give it a go. Start taking a video of whatever you're interested in and then adapt it. Today, what I'm going to be talking about mainly is how I like to see the videos in which I produce. Recently, we produced a one-on-one -on -one video with Tyler. Hey guys, it's Tyler here from Camera Center UK. And what was interesting from that is seeing a more photographer's kind of like way of thinking, because I've done video for a very, very long time. The only photography I do myself is actually film photography because I just enjoy it, basically. My recent podcast with Dad and March was the perspective where I actually showed it the video I showed you at the beginning. And what was interesting about it is what he said to me. See, now, I feel like this is where, now, what you need here is a cutaway to, like, some of your, like, the, the way you've gone now. Some, yeah. Some of the things you created. But this Two, is where I started. This is what I'm talking one. about. But this is fuck. Yep. I can't just me I've watched. Hey, 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 hey. hey. So, going back to the shoot with Tyler, again, I'm creating dynamic movements pretty much constantly throughout the shoot. So the loadout for today is a Ronin RS3 with an A7S3 and then a 20mm on there. I'm using a format Firecrest Silver Mist Filter and FX6 equipped with 35mm f1.2 and a Gold Mist Bloom Filter. Let's go. With these short kind of fashion shoots, you want to make sure you get an action and reaction. So gimbals have this really cool mode. It's behind the handle at the moment, but it's FPV. If we switch to that, the camera reacts to the tilt movement as well as the movement here, making sure that the movement is dynamic, that you're shooting in slow motion, but you're also getting what you can out of the model. Here, you need to talk to the model and make sure that they are doing the actions that you want them to. And ultimately, when you're going through this, you're thinking, what moments can I create? What transitions can I create? So it's raining here today. So of course, there'll be a little bit of blur applied to stuff. But what I'm gonna do now is do a shot pointing up. So it'll be quite cool. And it's just gonna be a static shot. So I'm gonna leave the model to it. Let's see what we can get. When it comes to the framing of the shot, what I'm doing is using this architectural thing here to kind of frame the model so here what i'm doing is setting up like a transitional moment for me to be able to switch between different shots okay and then two one go yeah Sorry, coming down here. yeah three two one go a little less just make sure you know don't kick it but and there you go an incredibly engaging short form video when I started this video a couple weeks ago, I thought it would be able to serve its entire purpose in one video. However, looking at it, I want to be talking about storytelling and I want to be talking about some editing techniques as well. So what I'm going to do is just label this as part one and then we're going to do part two video and part three video as well. I think we can actually create a really interesting and awesome series here. It's strange looking back on where you have been and seeing where you are now and i think that's that's something that is true throughout many different industries many different forms of creating and 
Whenever a new project comes up and whenever a new idea gets created, put together and put out into the world, it's always interesting to see people's reaction to that. And I had that recently with the FPV Drone Fest video that I produced, which I'll link here. So if you want to watch that, the next video will be on storytelling techniques and it will follow what I put together in that video. Please like, follow and subscribe if you want to see more. It has been a pleasure talking through uh, some of my older work from 16 years ago and obviously the work which I do now. Have a good day.